new this morning, the return to learning isn't just for math and reading. It also means that some teenagers will be able to resume their driver's ed classes. That's right. 30 minutes ago, we told you some districts are restarting their programs, but others still have the brakes on, and that means business is booming for private driving schools. Reporter Gina uh, Esposito is live now, and Gina, they've had to adjust training for this rite of passage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, in a normal summer, LKN Driving School in Mooresville would serve around 300 students. But so far this summer, that number has doubled as many students were not able to complete their high school driver's education courses last spring. Now, this teen right here, she is trying, is one of hundreds trying to complete her driver's ed training so she can get her permit in a few months. The president of LKN Driving School tells me they're running driving lessons in the morning and in the afternoon in between virtual driver's ed courses. Teens are required to have 30 hours in the classroom and six hours in a car with an instructor. School districts like Lincoln County Schools have been referring parents to LKN Driving School if they didn't want to wait for their program to resume in the fall. One parent says she's happy for this opportunity. LKN Driving School says for the first time, parents across the state are calling for their services. Knowing that this has worked out really well and it hasn't been a disadvantage for her is um, makes me feel really good. We're teaching a lot of kids in Chapel Hill and Durham and Raleigh, and then we go up there a couple times a month and drive those kids after they're done with the virtual classroom. Now, right now, school districts across our area are figuring out ways to resume their driver's ed courses in the fall. LKN Driving School expects there's going to be a huge rush at DMVs in the coming months as teens start to complete their driver's ed courses and come here to get their permit. Back to you. All right, Gina, so many changes for students and for parents. Thank you for that report.